Hi guys! I am going to be doing my very first uh, January favourites video. This is going to be obviously the very first one of the year and also because I've never done a favourites video before. So I thought it's going to be quite fun to show you guys some of the favourite things of mine. Some of them are not even um, favourites of the month. Some of them are actually favourites of all time for me or things that I actually really love for a long time so I'm just gonna share it to, to you guys this time because it's my first one so I thought I'll show you guys the things that I quite like firstly I'm gonna show you guys a fragrance that I actually really love it's been my favorite of probably for almost a year it's called Love by Chloe it has a bit of a feminine smell sometimes it could smell a bit more like a baby smell I think and whenever I use this I feel like I would love to keep smelling myself I know that sounds weird but I think it's a really nice almost like it has a floral scent sometimes or it just gives off a really sweet girly smell and I'm not really a girly person person I think so but this makes me feel kind of like a princess no, maybe not a princess. Like a beautiful lady in the meadows with flowers like running towards a field of tulips. The next thing that I'm going to show you is my very favorite blush actually. I have gone through one stick of it that I actually have another one that I have knew that I haven't opened. I have them in two colors. This is actually um, blush by the face shop. I bought it, I bought this one last year during about February but I really love it so much that uh, when my boyfriend's parents were gonna come over here last year I kind of asked them to like get me a few more for me to stock up. I have two colors, one of them, this is the number one which is pink pong pong. How cute is that? And this is coral pong pong. They have the cutest packaging ever because this kind of look like Russian dolls and it not only look good but it does good as well. This blush on is actually kind of a stick blush so it's quite creamy and I think creamy blush is pretty good for me in the UK here because the air is really dry here so I think this also helps to not dry my skin. I love coral blushes but this one is a nice change as well but because I went through this one this is gone this is really gone but sometimes I do I still do try to scrape the things from here uh, so I actually have a new one that I haven't opened yet next I'm gonna show you uh, probably my latest discovery. I feel like I should have known this so much sooner. I feel like this should have been in my life for a long time but it hadn't been. But I'm so glad, you know, it's better late than never. So it's actually Clinique Take the Day Off uh, makeup remover. Before that I was using a Benefit one. It was really good as well and it doesn't sting the eyes and everything but then I just go through them so quickly that I felt like it's not really worth it that I have to keep buying them. So this one comes in a in a quite a tub and it's kind of like a bomb kind of state right now but then when you apply them it kind of turns into an oily consistency so it really doesn't dry the skin and it removes your eye makeup everything so quickly so clean and it doesn't leave any bits when you, you just kind of like massage your face when you put this on and then after that you just rinse it off once you're done with it it's so quick, it's so simple and I, I don't know if I could live without this anymore. I, I wish I had found this so much sooner. Clinique, take the day off. I think it's an amazing product. Well next, the few favorite things that I like this month are um, some colors for my lips. It's winter right now. I feel like the colors should be kind of a deep red or a deep wine vampire -y color and things like that. This is Bourgeois Effect 3D. It's, um, 
it's lip lip gloss like that and it's it's in what color is this well it didn't it doesn't say it just oh rouge democratic number six i got this for free when i bought some stuff in boots uh, around christmas season and i think you buy a few things and then you get a pack for free with this with eyeshadow and mascara and things like that i thought it was really worth it and so i got this one and because it's a red one i sometimes i pair it up with this top shop lipstick i got this color um called rio rio i've had this for a while now i think it's a all year round color because it's kind of like a nice orangey reddish uh, orangey tone for the red and so it could be really summery and also sometimes for my um, winter looks I feel like this is actually less bluish to my skin it really matches my skin tone I use this for the base and then I put this on for the uh, for the gloss another lip color that I really like uh, rocking during the season is by MAC it's called Diva it's a really dark vampy color and this actually make me feel like I am mysterious or something sometimes it could feel like it's a bit too dark for me when I'm feeling like I should be in a bright mood and, and things like that so I don't it depends really when I want to use this the last thing that I want to show you guys that is my January favorites uh, I bought this jewelry from Topshop and I got it I ordered it uh, during the Boxing Day sales it's a media ring and it's a beautiful simple thin bow on yeah it's just a gold colored bow and I think it's very elegant it's very girly and I think it looks really good with a lot of things that I wear and especially when I want to take pictures for um, you know on pictures of my nails I feel like it really looks good like that I don't you know sometimes when you want to take pictures of nails you go like this and or like this and then you can't really see the rings you put on here so you kind of put it here it's like such a great idea <laughs> so I love midi rings I probably will be collecting more midi rings I think it's a great um, accessory to have well I think that is all for this month's January favorites and I hope you enjoyed what I show you guys and I hope uh, you find something helpful in this video I really had fun doing this and I hope there'll be more favorites videos if you guys like also I've actually done lucky cat nail tutorial but I'm not really sure if it's good enough for me to post on YouTube what do you think I'm gonna put a picture of it here and give this video a thumbs up if you would like to see this tutorial for a lucky cat Thank you guys! If you like this video or find anything helpful, do subscribe to this channel if you like and like and favorite or give me a comment, anything. I would love to hear from you, some feedback. It would be great. Thank you so much! Bye!